Last but not least, we have Robert Dickert. He's a community engineer here at Meteor Development Group. I know many of you watched his talk uh, earlier this afternoon. So Robert's going to give a short talk on how to set up Sublime and Atom for ES2015 and JSX. OK. So a quick poll. How many people know what linting is? Pretty good. OK, how many of you are using linting day to day in your coding? OK, somewhat fewer people. Um, Let's talk about what linting does, and I'll show you what it is. It's easier just to show you what it is. But linting is a way of having your, your editor show you uh, mistakes that you might have made. So it'll catch errors right away. It'll help make your code consistent, and it'll help you follow best practices. So let's just jump into what linting looks like, because I think so, so here we have a line of code where I've left off uh, a parent. And it has flagged the line as being bad. So that helps me to find bad code. You can also do it for stylistic things, like semicolons, or uh, if you want to remove uh, trailing white space, that sort of thing. You can set all those kinds of flags. So I'm going to fix that. All right, cool. Oh, wait, something else has appeared down here. Um, oh, dear, this is a problem, because this is a JSX file. This is React code. And we have uh, an HTML tag in the middle of our code, which is not acceptable to normal JavaScript. So we need to change how our linter is set up in order to handle that. So uh, what should we do here? So what we should actually do is uh, we're going to have to change the way we have Sublime or Atom set up, or any, uh, like any, anything that you're using. But I, I have help for you if you use Sublime or Atom. And for Sublime, I'm just going to point you to a blog post that I did. Uh, it was just a couple days ago on the Meteor blog. And you can read the, read the directions there. Um, the basic story is that you're using uh, a couple of node packages called ESLint and uh, Babel for syntax highlighting. And then you just hook up the correct packages in Sublime. It doesn't take very long. And there are directions on the blog. Uh, but I also want to give a quick shout out to Chris Wessels, who suggested uh, looking at it for Atom, because it's almost the same steps. It's just some different packages. There's going to be a follow-on post for that. But if you are using Atom and you want to do it right away, these are the packages you'll need to use, language, Babel, linter, and e uh, linter ESLint. And you have to set a couple of configs, um, which are to use the global ESLint. And I had to set my global node path in order for it to work. And then restart it, and it all works. So. That's it. I hope you will think about using linting in your code editor. And if you want help, check out the blog post. Thank you.